Episode 33, Song Jio Min Li Su Su Sua Catches the Demon. Song Jio Min realized that whether it was Yi Shi Wu or Li Su Su, the threat of the demon god was always an obstacle between the two. Only by finding a way to prevent the demon god from reappearing in the world can the two start again. Song Jio Min thought that if he got rid of the control of the demon god, it might hinder the hope of the demon god. Song Jio Min came to Huang Yuan and approached Si Ying and Jing Nie, pretending to be a demon god, wanting to inquire about the connection between the resurrection of the demon god and the devil fetus and evil bone, but he was noticed by Si Ying and Jing Nie after a few words. Jing Nie didn't respect Song Jio Min because he was a devil's fetus. What they were really loyal to was the real demon god, and Song Jio Min was just the devil's fetus chosen by the demon god for his resurrection. Song Jio Min said he is not the magic fetus they chose, and he will not obey their wishes now or in the future. Song Jio Min came to look for Li Su Su after returning from the wilderness, and happened to meet Di Mian who was there to visit his daughter Li Su Su. Song Jio Min didn't know the relationship between the two, and assumed that Di Mian would be detrimental to Li Su Su. Di Mian recognized Song Jio Min was the devil, but Song Jio Min knew what happened to him 10,000 years ago. Di Mian tried to test Song Jio Min, but Li Su Su came just in time to stop him. Li Su Su explained Song Jio Min's identity and hoped that her father would believe her. After Di Mian left, Li Su Su explained to Song Jio Min her relationship with Di Mian, and also believed that Di Mian was a person who lost his way and found his way back. Song Jio Min told Li Su Su that the person he knew had always been Yi Shi Wu, and that he had always been Tan Tai Jin and would never become what they imagined. Song Jio Min confessed that the seal of washing marrow was not the first magic weapon he came into contact with. When he was looking for Yi Shi Wu in Nether River, he accidentally fused the god-slaying crossbow. Later, he was accidentally rescued by the real person Zhao Yu. Li Su Su believed Song Jio Min's words and cared about Song Jio Min's wounds burned by the weak water. Song Jio Min wanted a chance for the two of them to start again, but Li Su Su thinks that the their current relationship between the two of them is also pretty good, although he was rejected by Li Su Su again, Song Jio Min still wants to prove to Li Su Su that he will not become a demon god, let alone give up the relationship that has persisted for 500 years. Song Jio Min believes that Li Su Su chose him 500 years ago, and now he will be entangled with Li Su Su because the sister-in-law retains the memory of 500 years ago, she hates the former Tantai Jin to the bone. She gave Si Ying the idea of announcing the identity of Song Jio Min's devil fetus, which would naturally make the people of the immortal sect hate Song Jio Min. The concubine learned that Erbayu was also in the demon realm, and sent him to Song Jio Min. Song Jio Min saw Erbayu in Zaoyazong. Although he knew that Erbayu had fallen into the magic way, Song Jio Min knew her by Yu's nature, and pleaded with Xu Xuan Zi and Zhao Yu for him, and successfully kept him by his side. Gong Ye Ji Wu experienced demons in the world, and he went to a newly opened embroidery workshop following the demonic energy. Ye Mei did not expect that she would meet a disciple of the fairy sect who looked like Xiao Lin there. Gong Ye Ji Wu did not continue to detect any demon-like aura in the embroidered workshop. When the concubine learned that Gong Ye Ji Wu planned to go to Jingdu to subdue demons, she took the opportunity to propose to go with him along the way, or by Yu did not find Song Jio Min, and learned from Yu Ye that Li Su Su was going to Jingwa to relax, and Song Jio Min accompanied her in secret. When Li Su Su came to Jingwa, she unexpectedly discovered that there were monsters raging there, and the people were afraid to go out. Song Jio Min also came to Jingwa, he pestered Li Su Su all the way, and Li Su Su bickered with him all the way. The two seemed to have regained their old way of getting along. Li Su Su and Song Jio Min stay in an inn together to catch demons, but accidentally run into Gong Ye Ji Wu who came to Jingwa to eliminate demons. Based on what the demon did, the three speculated that it was Yi Mei, and then they discussed how to get rid of the demon together. As night came, the three of them split up to catch the monster. When Song Jio Min encountered a monster who was disguised as Li Su Su, he recognized the imposter at a glance. Gong Ye Ji Wu also met Yi Mei disguised as Li Su Su. 
He was unsteady and bewitched by Yi Mei, and almost died from having his brain sucked out, but a Yi Bingshan appeared to save Gong Ye Ji Wu's life. Song Jiumin failed to find Li Susu. He used the magic method of the fairy gate to find Li Susu, but was accidentally summoned by the demon god. Song Jiumin said that he was a demon fetus, but he would never become a demon god. The demon god let him see the picture of Song Jiumin becoming the demon god in the picture. Song Jiumin realized that this was the illusion of the demons. He successfully got rid of the illusion, and also made Li Susu wake up from the illusion. Jingwa's annual throwing cold festival begins, and Song Jiumin finds Li Susu and asks her that the person most afraid of in her heart is actually herself. Li Susu denied the matter, and believed that Song Jiumin would never become someone who hurt her, and believed that Song Jiumin would never become a demon god. Song Jiumin had already guessed that the person Yi Shiwu showed him on the city wall was the demon god. He was also afraid that one day his colleagues from the immortal sect will find out that he's the devil's fetus that everyone will get and punish.